Across America, the masks are starting to come down. The CDC says it's safe to do for most of the country as COVID-19 cases are dropping nationwide. New York Governor Kathy Hochul announcing the state's indoor school mask mandate will be lifted. My friends, the day has come. Today we are going to be announcing that we'll be lifting the statewide mask requirement in schools, and that'll be effective this Wednesday, March 2nd. New York City, which arguably has the country's toughest COVID-19 mandates, also making changes. March 7th, the city's public school system, which has more than a million students, will allow students to remove their mask in school. New Yorkers and tourists also will no longer have to show proof of vaccination to get inside places like bars, theaters, and restaurants. I want to get back to a maskless city but we don't want to do it and be reckless in our anticipation. So to me, this is a Heinz moment. Anticipation is killing me. The decision from the CDC to relax mask mandates in most of the country is based on community transmission, vaccination rates, and hospitalizations. The agency says in places with a low level of COVID infection, People don't need to wear a mask indoors. People living in areas with a mild or moderate rate should consult with their doctor or local public health official. And for those people living in cities, counties, and states where the infection rate remains high, it's recommended you keep wearing a mask indoors. This updated approach focuses on directing our prevention efforts towards protecting people at high risk for severe illness and preventing hospitals and healthcare systems from being overwhelmed. And while some people are happy to see the mask go away, others are still reluctant and worried if we've seen the last of the COVID-19 variant. I think it's still a good idea that everybody wears their mask, you know, being that COVID still is around, it's still in existence. In New York, I'm Dre Clark for The World Tonight.